hey guys welcome to my channel hope you're doing well so taurus this reading will be for you if you have any taurus placements or if you're dealing with a taurus <sighs> okay <laughs> do you know what i swear the camera is too far from where i'm sat, sat sat anyways trying to press the button all that anyways so guys yes i am doing the signs in order but i'm giving you guys an extra message okay um, and I'll be doing the same for Gemini. So if you have any Gemini placements, you will get another reading. But I will continue. I've done, um, today I've done Virgo, Libra, Scorpio. I'll be doing Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius and Pisces tomorrow. I have been, I have been doing personal readings as well. So that's why I've been doing as many videos. Whew, catching up, catching up. All right. So Taurus, let's see your current situation. Been loving um, your reads recently, guys. I hope you have too. Um, if you find that it doesn't resonate, that's absolutely fine. Just check your other placements, okay, guys? Um, all right. And if you like a personal reading, in the description, guys, okay? Always in the description, all right? So let's get into your reading. What can you tell me about Taurus, please, right now? Well, this is your angel numbers, by the way. Some of you want to know who it is. It's Cal Gray, okay? Kyle Gray, Angel Numbers by Kyle Gray. I got mine from Amazon a couple of years back. Right, first message for Taurus, 502. Your relationships and connections with others are changing. If you're new to the channel, check the last few readings after this, okay, for you guys. All right, trust that God is helping you with these shifts. What have I been saying, okay? And I've been feeling it too, I've been feeling it, seeing it okay some of you guys you know too i don't know what it is i don't care i like it okay right 228 <clears throat> the universe is reminding you that your journey and experiences are led by your intentions and prayers get focused on your desired outcome to experience it to experience it this is why i try to say um even when things that may happen around us may seem like oh god this is a problem this is that actually always always keep in mind that this is happening for a reason for you specifically okay so if, if that means delays if that means someone's acting up if it means that you're feeling a certain way about something always take time to reflect and ask yourself why is this happening or just trusting because sometimes we want that we want to answer but it's not for us to ask it's for us to believe and trust in the process okay all right and last message for you guys is 1221. You can support and guide others. So angels are reminding you not to burn out or to skip self-care on your journey as a light worker. Okay, guys, especially those tourists who are and light workers. Some of you guys, it's not always the spiritual um, community that's related to. If you work for the emergency services, if you're a counsellor, psychiatrist, okay, even if you do like comedy, music, okay, some kind of arts and crafts, something that you're doing, that you've created, that something that's within you, that you're sharing, okay, and, and it makes other people happy, it helps them heal, it gives them some kind of clarity, that's amazing, but remember to take care of you. Uh, as well and that's why some of you guys I haven't been doing as many readings because even me I've, I've had to because I can't give you the best of me if I don't do that for myself so please remember that okay guys all right what should we see let me use this deck let me use this deck the most awkward deck to shuffle but let's shuffle it a little bit what could you tell me about Tauruses right now please All right, here we go, Taurus. Before we get into your tarot, here's a few messages. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life, okay? That's what is kind of what I was saying about um, recognising when something's happening for you and not to you, okay? If you can do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind for the heart is the gateway to the soul okay trust in what you're feeling trust in what you're experiencing whatever okay emotions are a natural and necessary part of night of life they 
but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. Oh, that, oh yeah, that the release from that is very liberating soul. All right, let's get into your tarot. Let's see what your current situation is, guys. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. It really helps my channel more than you know. Okay, let's help grow this channel, guys. Could you imagine a year ago, I just had a little over 1,000 subscribers and now it's 21,000, uh, 21, so thank you. Over 21,500, thank you all. Okay. <clears throat> okay, let's keep the channel growing. Let's keep growing. All right. What well, can you tell me about Taurus's current situation? Last shuffle. I'm going to pick them. What well, can you tell me? Good. Good. So this this tower moment that you felt stuck to, this this something that you had no control over, something that just had to happen. Did I not say in the last reading, if you don't if you don't handle the situation, if you don't address the situation, the universe will. And some of you guys are doing that, okay? I do see you guys moving on from something that was quite difficult. Quite difficult, okay? Very, to say the least. King of Swords. A lot of Swords energy. So it's, it's a, this could have really affected your mental health, uh, the way you saw things. Another, all this air. Some of you guys are dealing with the air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. All this air, seven of cups. There's something about confusion. This feel, do you know what it feels like, guys? The way this is looking, it feels like there's a situation where you felt trapped that was not desirable to say the least, okay? Quite difficult for you in many different ways, emotionally, um, mentally. And you've moved forward, but do you know what it feels like? It's like um, the after effects of going through whatever that is. Now, because of the tower <clears throat> and the eight of swords and the six of swords, it gave me this energy of somebody being trapped in something. I, men I mentioned to you guys a few readings ago about some of you guys being, it, for example, okay, metaphor metaphorically speaking like not not literally but being in a state for example like a house fire and then you know knowing that the fire's there and still sticking around you know like i ain't i ain't burnt yet I, you know i'm not suffocating yet i'm not but knowing that you have to leave so some of you guys have been forced out of a situation some of you guys have left voluntarily okay but it's also the energy of kind of coming out and feeling like whoa what just happened what did I just experience? Why? Like, what the hell? Okay. King of Swords, Two of Swords, Seven of Cups. So it's kind of like you're, re you're gathering your thoughts. You're understanding why that happened, how that happened, what to do now moving forward. Tell me more, please. Three of Wands. Death. You've been waiting for this change. You've been waiting for this change. And some of you guys, don't come at me. Some of, you, <laughs> some of you guys have been waiting for someone else to make these changes when really it was always you. It was always you to make these changes, okay? And I did, did say, this is Scorpio's season right now. So your opposite sign, uh, Taurus. So time for changes whether you want it or not okay <clears throat> now in what area of your life this is talking about i'm not sure feel free to let me know i do read your comments i love your beautiful comments thank you strength it took a lot out of you for some of you guys it took a lot out of you definitely so, so, some of you it was about stepping out of your comfort zone and trusting yeah stepping out of your comfort zone and trusting in the process some of you guys this is you stepping out of your self node fully closing the door and and some of you guys will open the door to your north node some of you guys if you don't know what that is please check that out okay let's just say south node is more your your comfort zone what you're used to what you're familiar with north node is knowing where you um are meant to be 
or just trusting in the process for your higher good because it's what you're meant to achieve, things that you're meant to do in this life, okay? Now, some of you guys had um, the south node, this door, partly open and you kind of peeked into uh, your, your north node door and like, like what's there, what's there, what, over, like, should I go back? Close that door, open that one and move. Keep it stepping. Whose reading did I say this with? Pause and I kept on saying pause, rewind and fast forward. It's Scorpio. Some of you guys have Scorpio in your chart, but funny enough, it is that that was the was it Scorpio or Virgo? No, it was it was Virgo. I beg your pardon, it was Virgo's reading. It was Virgo's reading. Check that out. If you have Virgo placements, definitely check that reading out, okay? Because I see somebody procrastinating. Should I, should I? And it's like, open the, open your north node door and move. I don't know why I have to say it like that, but just keep it moving. Don't look back. Take the lessons, leave the hurt, leave everything behind and move. Keep it moving. I don't know why I've got to say it like that, but I have to say it like that. Ah, uh, okay. Could be um, resisting change for some of you guys. Six of pentacles. Tell me more. Three of cups. Six of cups. Knight of Pentacles, ten of ten of Cups. All right, for some of you guys, my ears blocked again. Uh, some of you guys, yeah, there's a situation from the past that was taking a very long time to move, very long time to get somewhere. Okay, the Knight of Pentacles takes the, dragging their feet. Okay, for many reasons. There's a lot of great things about that that card too, but. Let's just say with the energy that I'm feeling, this is somebody dragging their feet. Somebody staying in a situation that is not benefit, um, was staying in a situation that wasn't benefiting them, keeping themselves in this, in this hamster wheel, but now experiencing happiness. It's because you've, you've said or done something. There's something different that you've said or done, Taurus. Tell me more, please. The temperance. You've healed. You're healing. You're not... You're, Ten of Cups and the Temperance. This is such a beautiful energy. The Hermit. Yeah, it's a lot of wisdom, a lot of calm I'm getting from you guys. I do see, yeah, some of you guys are asked, is this, is it, has, is this really happening? I don't know what area this is, this is in your life, okay? It will differ. For it to be that general, I'm not picking up on a, like, this is a love or career or family or friends. I'm not sure. I feel like it's this general for because many people are going through this, experiencing this, but some of you guys are looking back and uh, some of you guys are seeing this change, yeah? Something's come to an end, something's transformed. And some of you guys are actually thinking, uh, some of you guys are connecting to a Libra as well, or you, or you have Libra in your chart. Check your other placements, guys, okay? I always, it's always different stories and different things that come out. There's something about you guys thinking, is has this really changed? Is this, tra if this, is this change real? Am I really experiencing this? new whatever it is okay new opportunities new relationship change in a relationship i know some of you guys um your person's acting better some of you guys it's that person completely and can i say this as well if somebody has left you for a third party or whatever let them and do you okay someone needs to hear that some of you guys are just like did, has, is this change real is this real is it going to stay like this stay optimistic watch the libra reading as well Okay, because that message kind of come out in them. Two of Pentacles. This is you. Is this? Mm, yes, it's real. Four, four of four of Pentacles here. Tell me more about that, please. And the Pentacles. Some of you guys are getting really, uh, really. Um, it's like I'm getting like King of Pentacles energy. You know, really clever with your money saving you're saving more um some of you guys have learned some of you guys it's about um being independent like truly independent from something whether it's being self-employed whether it's being um even if you are in a relationship um maybe you're getting more money maybe a person's getting more money something's improving regardless of what situation you're in taurus something is improving and it's really going to help in many areas now, let's just say sometimes work is a is like work or the lack of money is an issue in the relationship somebody not pulling their weight that could be a huge burden on somebody okay a huge burden some of you guys are like oh let me make sure that i'm good okay or your person's doing that okay 
which is helping. It's like I can relax a bit. So, eight, so uh, Queen of Swords, tell me more, please. Ace of Wands. The Eight of Pentacles. The Emperor. Some of you guys are working hard. Working very hard. And I'm seeing there's some kind of... Um, you're sparking something within people. And you're... I feel like you have ideas, but you also have uh, this great work ethic, okay? Which will lead you to become a boss of some kind, okay? Whether it's you working for yourself or you getting a better position in the company that you're working for, okay? If you find that you can't do that because of... Um, wherever you work, maybe you've been there for five years and they haven't promoted you yet, maybe it's that time for change for you, okay, because if you're not able to do that and get certain things, then you deserve better, okay, I would just be real, a Taurus should not be any sign, but as a as an earth sign, you need to like maximise your money opportunities, okay, and not wait for people to, um, to give you that okay you don't have to always prove yourself to others that you're ready for a certain role you some of you guys is like some of you guys it could be a simple thing of, of employing yourself okay all right okay anyways let's see i'm gonna quickly do a separate spread another spread where's this deck i'm gonna do another spread i'm gonna use where's that deck that i had i'm gonna use this one all right Quick little story, story, you know. Quick little read for Taurus. What else can you tell me, please, for Tauruses? What else could you tell me for Tauruses, please? The lovers. Some of you guys are connected with a Gemini. Some of you guys are on a Taurus Gemini cusp. Okay. Some of you guys are in an interracial relationship. Okay, somebody that's, that differs from the per, from somebody that you'd normally have. Page of Wands and the Two of Cups. Yes. So this... Taurus. Love it. Yeah. So you... This is clearly picking up on those who are in a connection that they are wanting and um, are happy. Okay. If you're not, this message isn't for you. You can check it out the placements. All right, guys. Allow those who this message is for to have that message. All right. Okay. The communication between you and your person is definitely improving or has improved or is, you know, will improve. OK. So we have the ace, the ace of swords. Yeah, definitely a lot of lot of talking, a lot of um, clarity about something. Why do I have to, tell me more? I really like that. The chariot. This person could be saying, oh, I'm, I'm coming to see you. So this could be um, them um you guys talking about your next um next time you meet up if you're with them the places that you're gonna go and stuff like that okay you could be talking about traveling okay or someone saying i'm coming to see you or something like that okay so if you guys are thinking about getting a new car as well thank you we have okay we have the five of swords two of wands what is this Someone's car could be giving them issues as well, or someone needs to make sure you're check, make sure you're checking out your stuff to do with your car as well. Ace of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles. Someone, listen, it's come out again. This is like the third or fourth reading that I've done for you guys, where this is showing me that this person is making more of an effort, or a cross watcher, a tourist is making more of an effort towards you. Okay, someone's willing to put the work in. Ace of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. Someone's putting the work in. Okay. Finally, guys, do, honestly, yeah, I know sometimes the messages are intense, but I have to be real about what I'm getting. If I feel like it's a, sh it's a shitty situation, you're going to know about it because, you know, you guys, you know, you'll know if you're going through it as well. But it's nice. I, I, I'll be honest, I wasn't sure when the changes would happen myself. But, yeah, it kind of makes sense that for it to happen in uh, Scorpio season. Tell me more, please. The world... So someone's definitely traveling here someone's definitely making some kind of or moving or something this feels like a this feels like a um cycle that a lot of you tourists what you've done yourself you 
uh, personally, I don't know, but it's helped you. Something that you've been doing, Taurus, is helping you moving forward in this connection. Whether it's listening more, whether it's seeing their side more, whether it's the person being more patient and listening to you. OK, where the, the way you react to things, your energy when you're around them, their energy when they're around you, whatever it is, something's really helped this move forward. And thank fuck. Cause I like to give you readings like this. I remember I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm not a Gemini, I'm a Pisces, a lot of Pisces, Pisces Sun, Pisces Mercury, Pisces North Node, Pisces Venus. I love all this shit. OK, I love it. So. Ace of Pentacles and the Hanged Man. Some of you guys are dealing with the Pisces as well. Okay. Some of you guys, there's a Pisces offering your relationship. For others of you, yes, that's what I was just saying. Someone someone offering you something because they started to see things. You're, they're looking at things a whole different way. Right. Love it. Love it. Yeah. All right. I'm going to leave it there, guys. Beautiful. Stay optimistic. Okay. Keep it lighthearted, have fun, enjoy each other. Don't dig up things from the past. Just let it be, Loop, move on, okay? I love that. Some of you guys are probably waiting for that bit of the reading. You got it, okay? Um, check out other placements. I'll be doing Sagittarius, uh, Capricorn, Aquarius and Pisces tomorrow, all right, guys? I'm working as hard as I can. So be patient with me. All right, guys, if you'd like a personal reading, check the description, okay, guys? Please email me first, okay? Email me first and enjoy the rest of your week, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.